So, after a years long wait and some amazing early reviews alongside one of the best trailers for a historical drama I have ever seen, Shogun finally got released to Disney Plus yesterday and I was able to watch the first two episodes of the series and this video will give you my opinion on whether I think this show was worth the hype or not. If it lives up to my expectations and also an in-depth review of what I enjoyed about Shogun and what aspects of it I would like to see improved over the duration of the series. I'll try to keep this review as spoiler free as possible but obviously some small details of the show may get revealed. So you have been warned. But before we begin, don't forget if you love anything to do with historical movies and historical TV shows then subscribe to my channel History Spark. So I want to start off this review by saying yes, Shogun is amazing and the early reviews of this historical TV series did not lie or exaggerate just how great the first two episodes of Shogun really are. As I enjoyed every single minute of these roughly hour long episodes, the time literally just flew by. The show starts off strong and grips you with this very first opening scene and it does a great job of bringing the world and the story to life from that point onwards. This show does such a fantastic job of highlighting just how different Japanese culture is from the European cultures that John Blackthorne and his companions are used to. And it's great to see that both cultures view the others as barbarians and as less civilized than themselves. Also Hiroyuki Sanada is absolutely brilliant here stealing every scene he is in and there's a fair few of them so it's great to see his presence on the screen as much as we possibly can. And he does such a magnificent job of portraying the wise and conflicted Lord Tarunaga who has to utilize all his resources to ensure that chaos does not break out all around him. But speaking about acting and performances, the next person that needs to be mentioned is Cosmo Jarvis as John Blackthorne. And although he does do a good job so far within the show, his performance is not as strong as Hiroyuki Sanada's in my opinion. I'm not saying he's not done a great job. Just that I feel like his character so far has been pretty one note, just shouting a lot and spending most of his time just whining and complaining. There are a few scenes where we get to see a more wider range of emotions and expressions from his character which do show that he is a good actor but perhaps has just not been put in the right situation to show his acting range as of yet. But I am keen to see his performance get stronger as the series progresses as I do think that he has laid the foundation for a very interesting central character for this show. And speaking of series progression, the storyline here is very engaging with so many characters, personal ambitions and scheming already in full display. And the series does a great job of familiarizing viewers with the various important figures in Japan's political sphere during this time. And it also blends in the cultural and societal aspects of Japan in general very easily and fluidly within the show. Two episodes in and the story already has some great plot twists and the pacing of the show is just perfect. Not dragging out tedious political scenes any longer than necessary but also not rushing them so that the viewer does not fully understand the importance of what they have just witnessed on the screen. Also medieval Japan looks so realistic in Shogun with the costume design, hairstyles and set pieces all looking true to the period and you can tell that this series really took its production design and world building very seriously and dedicated a large part of its budget towards this. Moving away from the positives of this show, I do have two small concerns with Shogun so far. With my first minor complaint being a very minute point but I feel like the musical score and background music of this series so far has been pretty lackluster and a better range of music could have been used to really build the intensity and suspense of many of the early scenes. But this is a minor critique considering how well the series nails all other crucial aspects of a great historical show. My second primary concern with the show though is that it just seems like that Christians have far too much power and influence over Japanese society than would seem realistic for the time period which is 1600s Japan. And I feel like having a majority of the ruling class as Christians during this time period probably isn't correct. I get why it was done as Religion is a critical part of the plot and needed to advance the storyline effectively. But I don't know, it just kind of seemed a bit off to me. I really think the show could have benefited from elaborating a bit more just how the Portuguese gained so much influence and power within Japan in such a relatively short time period. 
But there you go, a quick overview of everything I've enjoyed so far about Shogun and some small criticism of the show I've had so far as well. But I can definitely say, if you haven't watched Shogun yet, I urge you to watch this show as soon as possible as it is definitely the best historical TV show I can remember watching in the last 2 or 3 years, possibly even longer. But let me know in the comments down below if you've seen Shogun and if you've enjoyed it and if you agree or disagree with anything from my review. And remember to stay up to date with everything to do with historical movies and historical TV shows. Subscribe to my channel History Spark and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.